Welcome back. This is Samara from CoachingConsciousCreators.com, here to give you my practical tips on how to create the life that you desire. So today I'm very excited. I am about to read a book, reread a book that once saved my life. Um, the book is called The Magic. Those of you watching this may be familiar with the book. You may not. If you are, sorry, you're about to hear some repeats, but you know, I'll add my personal story to the mix. Um, but if you're not, I'm here to tell you that this book can absolutely transform your life. And I've never said that about any other book, not Thinking Grow Rich, not The Alchemist, not any of these other books out there around spiritual practice and development have had the impact that this book had on me. I'm telling you, I was wishing that I wouldn't wake up in the morning when I found this book. I was going through such a difficult time that the only thing that even got me out of bed was my children and having to take care of them. And I honestly felt like I would never climb out of this dark night of the soul. And I had heard about the practice of gratitude. At that point, I was willing to try almost anything. That's really when, you know, as is common, my spiritual journey took off. Because once you hit rock bottom, you're open to anything. All the different blocks that you have, all the different illusions that you've built up around yourself come tumbling down. And that's what happened for me. And then I came across this book and I have never been the same. It's been five years and I still have never returned to that dark night of the soul. I still have never, you know, returned to struggling with depression since then. Now, my ratio of happy to difficult times, I'm not saying I'm happy 100% of the time. That's not the human experience, but I used to be kind of melancholy or depressed probably like 80% of the time. And now it's down to like less than 10%. <laughs> and I've never gone back. And that that shift has been gradual, you know, coming up from being depressed 80% of the time, gradually I shifted that and shifted that and shifted that. And now, even when I go through difficult times or disappointments, it's never what it used to be. And the turning point was literally when I went through this book. Now, this book contains 28 days of gratitude practices. These are not your run of the mill, write down three things you're grateful for while you struggle type of practices. This book, I mean, I don't know what she did. Literally, it's magical. <laughs> um, the gratitude practices touch on every area of your life. And what's amazing about it is it starts with, you know, helping you see or be grateful for what currently exists in your life, even the difficult things. But then as the days progress, it takes you into becoming grateful for things that you haven't even received yet. And that is my friends, is one of the absolute best ways to manifest anything you want. Even when you look at people talk about scripting, they always, you know, write things like, I'm so happy and grateful that blah, 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 for things that don't exist yet. And so this book does that on steroids. And it's not a book that you read once. The first time I read it five years ago, I said I was going to read it over and over and over again. And then life got in the way. Um, but now I'm inspired by another YouTuber. I don't even know if she's on YouTube anymore. I don't think so. She's on Instagram though. Um, she calls herself Law of Attraction Changed My Life and she's doing a challenge right now if you're looking for an accountability partner on Patreon. Um, I really can't promise you that I am going to remember to connect with you daily. I'm certainly going to try. As a matter of fact, as I start going through this 28 day process, instead of recording my videos sporadically, I'm going to do lives with you guys very early in the morning, but I'm going to do lives. And those of you who want to join me, I will be doing lives at 5.30 a.m. Central Time every single day for the next 28 days um, if you want to get this book and jump on here with me. Uh, before I do that, so you've got a couple days, um, and even if you don't buy the book, maybe during the live sessions, I'll just kind of walk through the different steps um, 
But if you want to hurry up and purchase the book, Amazon has two-day shipping. Before I start it this time, I'm going to get really clear on what I want. So one of the biggest blocks to manifestation is not knowing exactly what you want. And as I often talk about, manifestation happens by focusing awareness. In order to focus awareness on something, you have to know what you want. And it takes time to materialize in the 3D. How much time varies. That's a whole other video as well. But if you don't know what you want, you keep changing your mind or you say you want something, but you don't really want it, that can be a huge block to manifestation. So the first time I read this book, I don't remember being very clear about what I wanted in all areas of my life. I just wanted to feel better. And that's what this book did for me. It helped me feel better in the moment. This time around, I'm really, truly planning on using it as a manifestation tool. Um, so I'm going to, I ordered uh, my favorite planner and I, I need to do a video on this planner, but it's called the Law of Attraction Planner. And in the beginning of it, it takes you through all these thorough exercises. Like this planner was written with so much love. Um, it takes you through all these exercises. It even has vision boards and things to help you track your feelings um, to get really clear on what you want. And I've used this planner. This is my third one and I'm ordering my fourth one and it's trans transformed the way that I set goals. I no longer set goals that I, you know, forget about by the end of January, except maybe the workout goals. But, uh, <laughs> So I'm going to receive that planner. It should be here today. I'm going to work through those exercises. I'm going to get really clear on what it is I'm trying to manifest this time around. And I'm going to use this gratitude practice in order to begin manifesting those things. I would love it if you guys came on this journey with me. I think I'll also post to Instagram um, daily. Uh, probably just quotes. I'm not sure yet. We'll see. But at least I'll get on here and do a live every day at 5.30, what a commitment, um, so that you guys can come along with me if you'd like. Um, so you can do all these things. I'll put a link to this journal or this planner below so that you can purchase it as well. If you guys want me to do a review of this planner so that you can decide whether or not you wanna purchase it, uh, comment below and let me know and I'll do that. But unbelievable. So one of the things that keeps us stuck in life is continuously seeking after the next manifestation, thinking that if we could just focus long enough, work hard enough, you know, restrict ourselves long enough, punish ourselves long enough, that we'll eventually get to this place where we're enjoying what we're after. But what tends to happen is we keep striving and striving and striving. And even when we get to our destination, we're so exhausted or so resentful that we don't really enjoy it. And we're bored with it pretty quickly and on to the next thing. So our days, when you add them up, are not joyful. And one thing that this practice of gratitude does is allows you to experience joy in the moment. And that's something that we overlook in today's society, especially in the United States because of the way that our society and our lives are structured. So if you want to experience joy in the moment, I'm talking about profound shifts. And if you want to explore gratitude as a method for manifestation, come with me on this journey with Rhonda Byrne. Uh, She's the author of The Secret. I don't know if I said that at the video, beginning of the video already. But she's the one who brought together the cast and crew and all of that for The Secret. Um, when I watched The Secret years ago, I was kind of, not at the very beginning, but I was at the beginning of my manifestation journey. And I didn't really understand the mechanisms of how it worked at that time and hadn't experienced much success. So when I came across this book at first, I wasn't really excited. I was like, ah, the magic, come on. They're still trying to make money piggybacking off of the secret. And I totally underestimated this book, but it is a mainstay in my collection now. So if you guys are interested, like, share, subscribe, comment below, um, click the bell notification so that as I'm coming on and doing lives, as I'm going through the gratitude practice, you can join me. 
and I look forward to connecting with you soon.